Here are 20 high growth business ideas that you can start with under $100. Airbnb manager. Some people have multiple Airbnb properties, but they don't have enough time to manage all of them. And that's where an Airbnb manager can come in to help Airbnb hosts manage the cleaning, changing the keys, and even messaging on the app. Usually Airbnb managers will take a fee, generally 10 to 20% depending on the property. Home automation. <clears throat> Nowadays, most people want a connected home where their speakers connect with their lights, which connects with their TV and is all connected to their smartphone. But often people don't have the time or the skills to learn how to connect their homes themselves. And that's where a home automation specialist can come in handy. So if you're tech savvy and love home automation yourself, potentially you could start a business helping people with their home automations. And apparently if I click my fingers, you will magically like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. So let's give it a go. Did it work? Cleaning services. Nowadays, people are time poor and one task that they prefer to outsource is cleaning their homes. There are a lot of websites to hire cleaners, but the services aren't always the best and they're not always super reliable. Pablo and I tried to hire some cleaners this year, but sometimes they wouldn't always show up on time. Sometimes they were no shows and the service wasn't always the best. So there's a real opportunity to create a business with some reliable and quality cleaning services. Do you also spend a lot of time on social media? Well, maybe you could become an influencer manager and help influencers and brands connect to create brand deals. Typically, influencer managers get anywhere from 10 to 20% of the total brand deal. And there's a real need for influencer managers since influencer marketing is actually a $16 billion industry and this is only set to grow even more in the future. Converting vans. Nowadays, there's a huge trend for van life and people converting vans into mini homes so that they can travel and explore the world. But a lot of people don't have the skills required to turn a van into a home. So they would happily pay a premium to get the expertise to help them convert their van into a home or to pay for a van that is already decked out like a home. Kelsey, who was one of my friends, actually lives in a converted van that she and her partner converted herself. And she even sells a workbook which details exactly what they did to convert their van into a home and offers advice for other people looking to do the same thing. Podcast editor. Pablo and I recently launched a podcast and we've hired a podcast editor to help us edit our podcast episodes. He actually reached out to us through email. So when we were thinking of starting a podcast, we reached out to him to see if he was still interested in helping us edit our podcast episodes. I think this is a great potential business opportunity because there are so many people who are launching podcasts lately. So potentially you could reach out to your favorite creators to see if they need any help starting a podcast. Video editors. There are quite a lot of people who have YouTube channels and may need to hire video editors to help them create their videos. In fact, we've actually hired a video editor ourselves. Thank you so much, Zach, if you're watching this right now. And I think there's going to be even more demand for this skill in the future. <sighs> Event planning. Now that the world is going back to normal, there are a lot more events being planned. Things like weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, corporate events, hens and buck parties. So you could potentially create a business which helps people plan their events. By helping people plan their events, you could potentially earn a commission from the total budget of the event or even earn commissions from each of the vendors or businesses that you recommend your clients to. Flipping secondhand items. Wow, that's a lot of money for a pot plant. There are so many people giving away things for free on Facebook Marketplace and potentially you could create a business out of that by collecting this free furniture and free things that people are giving away and then selling them for a profit on Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree. Pablo and I used to do this back in the days when people were throwing out things that they didn't need anymore on the street for the council pickup days. We actually ended up selling a mattress, not a gross looking mattress by the way, a pretty nice new looking mattress. We sold 
sold that one for $50 and we also sold an exercise bike for $80 that we just found on the street. And if you have the skills to do so, you could even repair furniture that you find for free and then sell it for even more money. Shh. I'm recording a video. Pet sitting, people often go away on holidays and need to find somebody to take care of their pets while they're away. So pet sitting is an easy business idea and especially good if you love animals. Renting items that you have at home. Thank you. Pablo and I actually rent out outdoor party games that we purchased for birthday parties that we don't really need all year round. We've already had quite a few people rent out these outdoor party games and we've made quite a bit of money from it. Print on demand. This is when you create a design for a t-shirt or a jumper and then you put it up online so when somebody purchases that item, it gets printed and then shipped to your customer. There are websites like Teespring and Redbubble that can manage this for you. All you really need to do is to create the designs. Handyman. People often need help doing easy home tasks like fixing hooks up in their walls or even changing light bulbs. So if you're good at that kind of stuff, you could potentially start a business helping people do these tasks. And you can even start to specialize in a certain area if you notice that there is more demand in that area. Content creator. With the rise of social media, it's never been easier to build an audience and to start creating helpful content for people online. You may not be making money straight away, but over time, this can be a really profitable and lucrative business. And even if you don't have an audience yet, you can even start creating content for brands. Personal brand. Even though having a personal brand isn't a business per se, it could help you earn more money in your career because if you are well known or recognized in your career, you could potentially ask for more money or potentially earn extra money by doing consulting and speaking gigs. LinkedIn and resume writer. People need to stand out in the competitive job market. So one way you can help them stand out is by optimizing their LinkedIn profiles and also optimizing their resume so that they are clear and concise. You can help them optimize their online presence and also help them with interview tips as well. Online course builder. If you have knowledge about a particular topic, you can build your own course and then start selling that course. Or you could also help content creators and other people with a platform to build their own courses. And you can earn a commission for every course that you sell. Freelance writer. There are so many businesses that outsource the writing of their websites and their blogs to freelance writers and similarly, freelance graphic designers. You could become a freelance graphic designer to help people with their branding, their style guides and their social media posts. Lawn care. There are people out there like my dad who aren't good at mowing the lawn or caring for a garden. So if this is a particular skill that you have, maybe you could start a business helping people care for their gardens and their lawns. It's hard to find reliable and good quality lawn care services. So this could be a good potential business opportunity for you. Yep. Yeah, it's the mug. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. So write us a comment below with the word mug in it. Oh, just inside? so we know. What is it? It's a like button. So make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and write us a comment below with the word mug, mug in it. Thank you. See, See ya. ya.